peaches welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing before i start the video don't forget to like uh, the video and subscribe if you haven't already i post just about every day so if you want to see more of me subscribe so you know how to find me anyways let's get into it i have become eligible for monetization a couple days ago and I've only been doing YouTube seriously for 90 days. I've had this YouTube account since 2015 but it was just kind of a personal account for me to just watch videos on and nothing to do with posting but um, when I came back from my breast reduction surgery, I finally decided, hey, I really want to try this and give it a go. I think I have a fun and infectious personality and I feel I could do well on YouTube. And it looks like I was right. Don't get me wrong, I haven't blown up or anything, nor would I expect to with the quality of my videos, but being that I've only been doing this for 90 days, um, three months, I definitely feel I've already improved in the quality of my videos, my presence on the camera, I'm not as nervous, I feel my editing has improved too quite a bit and even my thumbnails I know I'm still a noob and a beginner and I have a lot a lot to learn but I'd like to just share some very basic beginner advice of what I felt helped grow my platform so buckle in peaches and let's get started I feel, number one, you have to be doing YouTube for the right reasons. And what I mean by the right reasons, don't expect to start YouTube and gain subscribers and views right away. It's definitely a slow grind. I feel there's a misconception with YouTube that a lot of people just start and they gain a lot of subscribers and it's great money and that's just not true. I don't feel there's as much of that misconception than there was a couple years ago, but you gotta do YouTube because you're passionate about sharing whatever content you want to share, not because you wanna make a quick buck. If you wanna make a quick buck, there are a lot of other platforms where you could do that a lot more effectively than YouTube. Let's say we've already done that. You, you want to make videos for you and for a platform, not to make money. I would suggest being consistent. Obviously, you want to have quality in your videos, and that is important. Though I'm of the opinion that as you start out, Quantity is slightly better than quality. You want to be posting, I would say at least once a week. I'm able to post multiple times a week. I'm very blessed. I try to post every day just to keep myself in my little algorithm because YouTube really likes that consistency. I've gone a couple days without posting and I've had some comments from my subscribers being like, oh, why didn't you post? I miss you. Missing your new videos. So I feel your platform and your subscribers will let you know what's good when it comes to posting. I feel they'll definitely let you know if you post too much and it becomes spammy and make sure you don't burn yourself out too even though i've been posting every day or almost every day i definitely am good at my motivation and not burning myself out i would say mainly because my videos are on the lower effort side 
not to say that I'm lazy or whatever, but I'm not making commentary videos where I'm putting in a lot of research. I'm just kind of vlogging and shooting the shit with you <laughs> for the most part. So it'll be very different from creator to creator. But as long as you have that consistency, not only will the algorithm like it, but your subscribers will like it. When you start out, getting that first view or that first subscriber is going to be the most challenging. I did suggest this in when I hit a, my 1,000 subscriber benchmark. I do still suggest sub for sub that Reddit group. I know that subreddit is a little controversial. A lot of people don't like it, but I found success with it. Not all of my subscribers are from sub for sub. I would say probably around maybe 20%, 30 at the highest, but it probably is as low as 15% because a lot of people unsubscribe. But I feel that is a good way to start out and feel YouTube out, as well as see what other smaller creators are doing. I've made a lot of good YouTube acquaintances through Sub for Sub who have content that I genuinely enjoy and like. I feel it's 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 a good place. Also, the subreddit small creators is very good. That's not for sub for sub. It's just for generalized advice. And any advice right now I feel is good advice and you could just take it with a grain of salt and do what you will with it. So I guess advice number two would be find yourself a community. Number three is don't feel you have to niche down immediately. If you already have a niche or a hyper specified topic that you want your videos on already, that's awesome. You're ahead of the game. I'm personally not gonna niche down or I don't see myself niching down in the future. And I don't think you really need to yet. I feel your subscribers will kind of guide you in what they like to see. For example, my subscribers like when I do lingerie try-on videos or any clothing haul videos. Those videos are extremely popular. I unfortunately can't do them nor feel ethical doing them all the time, so it's a rare treat <laughs> for my subscribers. Number four, this is only really applicable if you're a woman and I may have to take off my feminist jacket for a moment but I definitely think if you are comfortable with this try appealing to the male gaze I feel that is such a simple and easy tactic to get views to get subscribers to get engagement is appealing to the male gauge gaze wear tops with some cleavage if you're comfortable with that maybe show a little skin do things that you think will attract a male audience now i think that advice is a little controversial but it's something i've seen creators do that don't even do any form of sexual content. I've seen booktubers even wear very like low cut or scantily clad outfits in their thumbnails and in their videos and go them. It's an easy way to get clicks and likes. To circle back to some more advice, I definitely think you should do shorts live streams and long form content. I think every channel should do a mix of all three. If you look at where my views are coming from, the long form content has the most. I still have a decent amount coming from shorts and lives and I feel the only reason 
my long form content gets more views is because I just do more long form content. Obviously, you'll find an interest in one of those three, but I highly suggest diversifying your YouTube channel in terms of the content forms that you make. I also do suggest utilizing the community tab, which I think you get after like 50 subscribers, because the community tab goes to everyone on YouTube. It has the chance to go to everyone on YouTube. One creator I found that does this very successfully, I think his name is Mr. MR. I'll put his channel right here. He does a community tab post every day and they're very simple philosophical questions and they get a wide response. Watched his video on YouTube advice and randomly some people just sub from your community tab page. I had I think one subscriber come to me from my community tab page and if you're watching this, hi, how are you? Thank you for subscribing to me from my community tab page. In terms of just pure subscriber bulk, I've found the best success with live streams, <laughs> getting more subscribers from lives is very effective. If you are after just views, though, raw views, I would go with shorts and obviously watch hours. I would say lives and long form content are going to be your most effective Bets. Oh, and before I forget, let me add that you want a good source of lighting. Um, all I have right now is a simple $15 ring light, but I think the number one thing you need when you start out is just lighting. If you don't have access to a ring light, just shoot in front of a window or get lamps just to put in front of your camera because visually this is far more appealing than this. <laughs> See, look at that. The next thing I would say you want to upgrade, which I haven't yet, would be sound. But basically, as long as you have a smartphone, you have a camera, you can video record yourself. You don't need to get crazy and invest hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in your channel before it even takes off. I will definitely say that YouTube is going to be a good percentage luck, but it also is skill. The videos that succeed in the algorithm, they are quality content. They are well filmed. They are scripted. They're edited well, typically, I would say most of the time. This doesn't mean, though, that good quality content will always rise to the top. I hope you understand what I mean. Basically, everything on the YouTube homepage is going to be quality content, but that doesn't necessarily mean that all quality content on YouTube gets views. I know that was probably the most convoluted way to say that, and I hope that makes sense. At the end of the day, for me and for most small creators, YouTube is just fun. It's not a job. It's not a sustainable income. It's not an income at all for me at the moment. I just became eligible for monetization. So currently, the YouTube gods are reviewing my channel, and fingers crossed, I'll make the monetization cut and I hope you have success with your YouTube journey. I'm assuming you're watching this because you want to be a YouTuber or you just like my channel or you like me which is very kind of you because sometimes I don't like myself. <laughs> well thank you so much for listening to me. I know I still have a lot to learn. Bye, peaches. Have a great rest of your night. Take care. Stay peachy.
stay hydrated. <laughs> Thank you.